Oh, look at those smiles. Family is so important to me. Tia Mowry reunites with Corey Hardrick for a family Christmas celebration. After announcing in October that they were calling it quits after 14 years of marriage. On Instagram, Tia shares a carousel of pics showing off her holiday weekend with Corey and their two kids, Cree 11 and Cairo 4. Make you know, I'm a little bit, um, I'm on the fence about this, right? Because on one hand, you know, I'm always an advocate for men, especially with men going through what they're going through in family court, right? But it's all seeming like either A is clout chasing um, or B trying to be amicable for the sake of the idea that she possibly is worth more. I'm not really sure what they prenup and stuff look like, but um, trying to look good for the gram or the general public uh, just seems like clout chasing to me. And it just doesn't seem authentic, but it really doesn't matter because you know, women in a lot of ways can say anything in which other women, which is their main supporters and their base, is going to believe them. But let me hear what's going on. You get clear that their children's happiness is their highest priority. How are the little ones holding Cap. up? They are doing... Cap, because she literally just said on another TV show that her prior her happiness was the number one priority. See, that's why I don't go right after that, that came out. That's why I don't go by what people say, because if you let them talk long enough, they'll actually tell you what they really believe and what they really feel. And the reality is that she was on another talk show talking about, and I, and I covered it on my other channel, she was talking about how it was important for her to find herself and her happiness. But now, you know, when it suits your needs and your purpose, and it's almost like a double-edged sword for a man, because... He could come out and say the truth, and the truth would, you know, really give insight and information to other men, you know, or he can stay silent and then do the thing that's in the best interest of his children, because to be able to parent effectively and then be able to have that relationship with your children is obviously of the utmost priority for most men. But it's all fake. It's all lies, in my opinion, based off of what it is that I'm observing. It's not real amazing. They're all so happy and that means the world to me, my children. In the photos, you see Tia and Corey embracing their kids with hugs and kisses, while also making room for funny poses, like this fun shot of their son Cree making a silly face as his mom plants a big smooch on his cheek. The actress captioned the snapshots, quote, family will always be family. Um, it's weird. It's really weird to me because um, I don't want to appear on your gram. I'm not going to contribute to the elevation of your brand. I believe that we can co-parent amicably. I, I, I'm cool with the idea of um, going over each other's house and, you know, for the kids or, or for Christmas or whatever it is, right? I mean, y'all can be friends, y'all can be amicable, um, but you don't get the same benefits as being a wife and being able to use me as a marketing tool in order for you to make your brand look greater. And that's the part where I believe that men need to start being a little bit more mindful, right? You can still be strategic. You got to, you know, look at it from a 30 year view. But at the same time, why are you being used as a ploy? And why are we still taking family pictures unless um, it's family pictures for you to put on your Instagram unless we're actually you know, getting back together and we moving in together. We're not going to sit here and pretend. I, I don't like this whole new culture of, um, you know, gram chasing and all of that other type of stuff. Some stuff just need to stay private. And there's no way I'm going to let you use me as a marketing tool for your Instagram. Um, I think he's being played all the way across the board. Merry Christmas from our family to yours. You know, I'm all about inspiring and encouraging. All about inspiring um, and, and encouraging. I mean, the and stay years home. that I have gotten from so Working many women that, that are out. going through the same thing and just saying how they admire my courage and my strength. It you see what I'm saying? It was a marketing ploy. It was a marketing ploy. They, they, <laughs> her courage and her strength... I see nobody coming to the aid of the Corey dude. I see nobody supporting him. I see nobody asking if he's okay. Why is all of the attention 
and all of the celebration and all of the up, you know, uplifting going towards her. Why? I, I, I don't understand it, but at the same time, I do because it's the nature of how things have been for so long that we've been programmed for that to be the thing. But then if something happened or you get a twitch situation, then they want to start having conversations about, um, you know, mental health and all of this other type of stuff. It's only after that people start to put rest in peace t-shirts on or start to look out for you. But nobody cares about men. And that's the reality. I mean, it has just been I feel so blessed. Corey sure also shared the family Christmas first, photos first, on his first. Instagram, simply captioning it, quote, Merry Christmas with a Christmas tree and black heart emoji. In November, Tia stopped by the Today Show and revealed when she knew it was time to step away yeah. from her marriage. I knew when I really started to focus on my happiness. Exactly. There was That was my point. I literally, I have not seen this video. I appreciate you guys for sending this to me. Uh, make sure you tap into the Patreon. I got to stop and do some housekeeping. Make sure you tap into the Patreon. Link is in the description as well as pinned to the top of the chat. We got some phenomenal videos that's dropping for you guys um, in the Patreon. And we got the Patreon meetup this weekend in NYC. But the reality is that she originally on that show said that it was about her happiness when she wanted to focus on her. But then she's saying uh, conversely that it's actually only all about the kids. And so people pick and choose when it's convenient for them to be able to market themselves on a grand more on a grand more effectively on which one they want to lean into in order to make themselves look good. But the reality is that people are selfish. And it's the reason why people break up their families on a regular basis. People are selfish. You can't have you can't say both. It's one or the other. And that's why I don't believe in that his truth, her truth, that's your truth. No, it's only the truth. The truth is based off of what the results are. It's not based off of how you feel because you're going to feel differently tomorrow than you do today. This sadness. Mm -hmm. um, and I knew that life is short. Um, I had actually, you know, lost yep. my grandmother. We had lost Elena Housley. Mm -hmm. And both of them at the same time. It, there was just an aha moment in me where I said, you know what? You need mm. to tap in, see what's really going on with your happiness. Life is short. Let's go. Let's start working on you and really focusing on what really, really matters here. Exactly. That's my whole point. And so you got to be a little bit more mindful because I always say that um, communication isn't about communication isn't, isn't about what's being said. Communication is about um, your body language, 90% body language. It's the things that you don't say. It's the things that you say when it's convenient. Um, it's what you post. It's all that type of stuff. And so I don't pay attention to what just people say on the surface. I pay attention to the whole picture. And then I try to draw a conclusion. And why am I drawing this conclusion? Because it's important for us to have these conversations. And thankfully for her, or thankfully to her, um, she's providing us this con this conversation because she decided to live her life online, you know, online as an open book, similar to how I live my life online, like as an open book. And so it's open for criticism and it's open to having a conversation. I'm curious as to what you guys think. Do you think that it's just clout chasing? Do you think that it's a good thing? Do you think that um, the co-parenting thing is all cope aesthetic or do you think that it's all a marketing ploy in order to continue to make themselves look good? Because it's not necessarily about the kids. It's about their happiness. Again, make sure you hit a like for the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to the channel and turn, turn on your notifications. Uh, Patreon, Bag Chasers. I love you. I appreciate y'all. Make sure y'all tap into the Bag Chasers. Link is in the description as well as pinned to the top of the chat. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. I want to hear what y'all got to say. I'm going to holler at y'all later. Peace.